induced this is rotating field stationary armature so you are rotating field so emf is induced the emf normally available across the terminal so what are all the factors affecting the terminal voltage of the alternator one is armature resistance and another one is armature leakage reactants third one is reactants corresponding to armature reaction so you are rotating the field system so emf will induce the emf is available across the terminal that emf supposed to be constant whatever may be the load from zero load to full load it should be constant okay but uh, in uh, practical uh, synchronous generator it will not be constant because these three factors affecting the terminal voltage now what are all the voltage drops so one voltage drop is iara one voltage drop and another one is iaxl due to leakage reactants one voltage drop another one is iaxar or xarr this is imaginary reactants xa that is reactants corresponding to armature reaction that is imaginary reactant so three drops now you can form the voltage equation that is e phase this is the emf induced inside the alternator that is equal to v phase plus ia ra plus ia xl plus ia xar ia xar so all are vector quantities so vector addition you have to follow now this is xl is the reactants xar is also reactants if you add these two reactants that is called synchronous reactants why it is called synchronous reactants means reactants available in the synchronous machine so that is why next you can reduce this equation like this that is v phase ia ra plus ia into xl plus x a r so x l plus x a r is nothing but x s synchronous reactants that is v phase plus i a r a plus i a x s x s equal to x l plus x a r this is equal to v phase this is the synchronous reactants x s is the synchronous <coughs> reactants this is the voltage equation now further you can reduce this equation like this that is e phase vector is equal to v phase vector plus ia into zs zs is the synchronous impedance zs is the synchronous impedance that is zs equal to ra plus jxs synchronous impedance so now this is the voltage equation of the synchronous generator okay so Uh, you know the voltage equation of the dc generator so eg equal to vt plus ia ra this is the voltage equation of the dc generator eg is the emf induced inside the dc generator vt is the terminal voltage then ia ra so the dc generator so the reactants uh, will not come so ia ra so what is the uh, difference between these two equation both of them looks like same so for example here eg here e phase so emf induced per phase then here terminal voltage we represented as v phase here vt so this is like vt okay so ia zs here reactants in ac machine so reactants come into picture so ia zs in dc machine only ia r so looks like same so e phase equal to v phase plus ia zs this is the voltage equation of the synchronous generator that is e phase equal to v phase plus ia zs zs we have two component one is ra and xs then xs we have further two component that is xl plus xar two component xl xar so xs is the synchronous reactants zs is the synchronous impedance okay so now we have to understand this this is the voltage equation e phase equal to v phase plus ia <coughs> zs 